fun. Welcome everyone. I'm Mr. The Hero to enjoy my pig and maybe Alex later on. This is the Shut Your Mouth Lounge, episode 282. Can you believe it? It's unbelievable. We've come so far. Some could say we tried so hard. But does it matter in the end? Not really. Oh well. <laughs> so Pig, what's coming yes. out on your channel? What is coming out on my channel this upcoming week? Well, as per the mostly usual, there's going to be more NXT Universe mode from WWE 2K23 coming out later this week. In addition to that, DLC dropped on Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. And uh, there will be some uh, solo videos coming out this week that will showcase slash feature the uh, wrestlers that dropped in this latest DLC pack. So that is all that I've got coming out on my channel. There might be Dead by Daylight stuff coming out on the channel because I've been playing that a lot recently as well. And it really depends on if I record anything by my lonesome or if I'm playing with Mike. We'll see. But it's not a guarantee, just a possibility. And yeah. that should wrap up everything that I've got coming out on my solo channel. All right. Well, uh, as for me, one of these weeks I will actually stop being sick. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I should hope so too. But yeah, I am. I am seemingly near the end. Cause like my throat doesn't hurt anymore. I only have some slight problem with my with my nose. Nice, nice. So you know it's whatever. Uh, so no gameplay videos just yet because I I want to wait until I I don't sound like this <laughs> before I yeah start making gameplay videos again. But uh, I did finish scripting the Assassin's Creed Four review. Nice. And it should be a fairly long video for my standards, considering that the uh, the Luminous Avenger video was 2,000 words and 7 minutes long. And this the, the, this script is 5,300 <laughs> words long. Okay. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. This should be at least a 15-minute video, I would hope. Yeah, I, I'd hope so. Now, there is one bit that I, I will uh, probably have to ask you about off recording, because there's there's a joke that I put in. If I put it in to be spicy, but it might be a bit too spicy. <laughs> you know? Maybe. Well, I'll have to figure it out, or figure out what the context of spicy means once you inform me of what the joke is. Yeah. But past that, it, it should be finished. I mean, the writing isn't the best, but, like, I, I kind of just wanted to be done with it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I've been sitting on it for, like, three months at this point, and I kind of just don't want to... Like, I, I was about to say, I kind of just don't want to think about Assassin's Creed. Then I went, oh, yeah, earlier today, I was like, hey, I, I might just write an opinion piece on Assassin's Creed and then call it quits on Assassin's Creed. So, I, so whenever, whenever anyone asks about my opinion, I can just be like, hey, watch, watch this, like, 40-minute video for a ram roll about Assassin's Creed with, with no consideration for objective, the objectivity. <laughs> like, if, if, I, if I do that, it's just, I'm just going to write an essay on why I think the games are not, not good anymore. Where the, where the series went wrong. Why the series went wrong in, in the first game. <laughs> you know, but... <laughs> but, you know, like, just a general overview, of, general, general overview of, like, you know, I like, I like, like, these, I don't know, like, three or four games. I don't really care about these four other games. I actually dislike these three. I think these three may make the series, pull the series down. <laughs> And then just leave it at that. But you know, with yeah, more, yeah. more thought, uh, thought and effort put into it than just that. But yeah. at, the same, at the same time, I also just don't want to like, like it, it, it's low key. 
The because the only Assassin's Creed game I haven't reviewed is Assassin's Creed Unity. And I low-key kinda just want this video to to be my I don't want to review Assassin's Creed Unity card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm gonna talk about Assassin's, Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm actually not gonna look at it like objectively because that would require me to actually play through it again, or you know, talk, like think, really think about its mechanics as they are. Yeah. Which, like, Assassin's Creed Unity has a lot of uh, promise. And it deliver, delivers a lot of it. <laughs> which is why That's I don't want, which is why I don't want to think about the mechanics as they are because you know thinking about the mechanics as they could have been paints a much nicer picture of Assassin's Creed Unity than what's actually in the finished product and playing the finished product or you know the the the, the, the hardware that, that it was designed for as in a base PS4 is not not uh, the most fun. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'm not sure if it, if, if <laughs> I, I low key don't know if the en engine engine is a uh, program so it can actually take advantage of the the better hardware that we have nowadays. Mm. But whatever. So yeah, I I have the Assassin's Creed Four video that's gonna be need needing some uh, audio recording and then it will be done eventually. I might start writing the, the whole essay on Assassin's Creed as a whole if I really get worked up over it. Like that's the thing, like part of a part of the problem, a part of the reason it took so long for it to actually finish the script is because I don't I genuinely do not care anymore. <laughs> I had to <laughs> I had to like you know, it's it's one of those things where like once I get into the swing of things and I start writing writing about Stuff. I once I examine the actual mechanics and I remember why I dislike the mechanics being the way they are in Assassin's Creed Four, then I can then I can rant about you know things the way that I did did back in like twenty seventeen for a bit, but not for that long, not for that consistently. And at the end of the day, I just try not to think about Assassin's Creed anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> So it's the thing of like I can I can do it in bursts. I can get the rage rage in bursts, but I can't actually like I I couldn't do like a an overly angry review of Assassin's Creed Four even as a joke because it, it, I just don't have it in me anymore. <laughs> I don't care. Right. Like the the I feel like the script that I have written comes up a, comes off a lot more bitter than angry, which honestly, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fitting. But yeah, and then as for as for the group channel, we have Mark Henry cannot be stopped in Fire Pro World. Oh no! Oh yeah, then. We get we get a visit from from the uh, ghost past. I don't know, ghost of joke past. Yes, yes. The short this week is hundred percent something, and that will tell you that, that, that should tell you <laughs> uh, you as <laughs> in pink, not the viewer, what it is. <laughs> then. On Friday, the final uh, episode of Mortal Kombat 11 that we recorded. Nice. Also this week, is Friday Games on, I believe. Because it's a Mortal Kombat week. Which means that that's the only way I know. <laughs> it's Mortal Kombat this yeah. week? Alright, Friday Games on. So, you know, after this, is not, I'm definitely not going to get confused again. Oh, not at all. But yeah, and that's it for the group channel. Very nice. So, Pink. Yes. What have you been up to? What have I been up to? So, this week, my siblings flew down from Oregon, and they came down to visit for a few days. It was... They got here Saturday of last week, I want to say. 
And they left on Wednesday, I think. It was Wednesday, but their flight got delayed, and then it was Thursday, actually, or something like that. I don't remember. It's all very confusing. Anyway, uh, spent most of the week with them, not doing much on my own. I did, uh, this week, watch several episodes of the old X-Men 90s animated series, and that was always, that was fun. Um... Let's see, what else did we do? What else did we do that I can talk about? Not not a lot. Have you ever played the card game Apples to Apples? If you describe the, the rules, baby. It's like not, not a typical card game that you play with the, you know, aces, kings, yeah. two, ones and twos. It's uh, this card game where you've got words plastered on red cards and you've got adge- adjectives plastered on green cards. And the rule, the rules are you start with a judge, quote-unquote, who uh, grabs a green card, reads off what the adjective is, like, let's say the word is sour, and then all the players look through their hand of red cards to find a word or, you know, a noun that matches up with the term sour. Or does it match up at all, and it's just funny. So, that's how that game goes. And we, uh-huh. we played that for a few hours, and it was fun. I was, I, we played that a lot growing up, so it was fun to go back to that. Oh, yeah. You see, you see, you, you have fun board games that you grew up with. I have fucking Jungle Book on the NES. Right, right. I, I, I brought it up with my sisters recently. Both of them were hyped that I, that I have Jungle Book NES on my PC, and we can play it. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I hate that game. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's really genuinely a thing thing of like I will play it with them. You know, the way we the way that we used to pressing the controller around, around and shit. Because I want want to see it finished. I don't know what what the game what the game's ending is. I genuinely hate that game. There is like I have never had fun with that game. We just played because we liked the movie. <laughs> Incredible. So yeah. <laughs> and then I also have like I also have other games that that are actually good from from, from our childhood that, that that we can play. But you know. Anyway, yeah, y- y- y'all played apples to apples. Yep. And that. Kind of wraps up my week, I want to say. It was visiting with the siblings and, and watching X Men the Animated Series. All right. Well, uh, let's see. I didn't do much either, honestly. Uh, my uh, drawing software's licensing time has run out. <laughs> no! This means that I can still use it, but I can't save. I can that's load. Not, that's not good. I, I can load. I can I can do like most things that, 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 that I could otherwise. I just cannot save. So the day of the, the, the of it running out, running out, I looked at the uh, the uh, phone background that I made like a week ago or two. I don't know, and I went. I cannot stand. The face that I have given myself on it, on it, it needs to be redrawn. So I woke up at, at 4 a.m. Because it, it, the, the licensing agreement ran out at like, I want to say 4 p.m. And I just made a new one. <laughs> like I just redrew over it, made a new version of it. From 4 a.m. <laughs> Until however long it took me. I think it was like 2 p.m. So you know. Yeah. I have also... Before this, uh, they did technically the day, day before, but I'm not sure that that counts considering the the timing. <laughs> but I have learned learned of a of a new uh shading method because uh YouTube we've discussed this off recording before before the podcast a bit, but YouTube is suggesting weird shit to me right now. <laughs> like you YouTube is suggesting things where like you know so I guess I can see how. It would be something that I that I, I I would be interested in, but at the same time, it's not really the the sort of stuff that I go out of my way to watch. 
Yeah. And, and so YouTube is like, hey, what if I gave you uh, just like music and art tutorials entirely in Japanese? <laughs> and one of those, one of those art tutorials uh, was this guy who looked at both Japanese and uh, Western tutorials and found, found a weird difference between the two where, you know, Western people have the the uh, idea of shading that we, that we have, where it's like you know you have the you have the the uh, shade that that is cast because of the light source, and you have the the pouncing light and shit like that. You know the the the, the uh, right. traditional stuff. In Japan, they have a different method to break down this this uh, thing. A slightly different method, and like the the method that the Western that Western people use works more for like painting or like soft shading. And the the method that Japanese people use works more for cell shading. Ah, and that that method is called like four shadows, or something like that. Where it's it's literally in the name. It's just hey, you draw in with with a, with a color that you don't actually want to see. That's the that's your highlight, and then you apply very very levels of shadows <laughs> as needed. Right. So it's kind of like. You know, it, it's you're doing the same steps that you would you would uh, traditionally over here. It's just a different order, more or less. Ah. Like you know, instead of instead of being like, "Hey, I want the uh, I don't know this thing to be this this shade of of brown," instead of that, you make it a lighter shade of brown, and then then you make it the shade of brown you originally wanted, and that's a shadow of the of of the original shade technically. Whereas over nice. here, it, it, whereas, whereas over here, it, you would just make it a shade of brown you want, and then you would highlight it. <laughs> I see. Now the weird part is, and this is the, the, the part that I don't understand. Like, uh, you know, because art for me, I don't know if, uh, if it has, has been the same same for you, but art for me has kind of just been like watching other people's tips and tricks, and then going, trying them out, and going, I don't feel this one, or I feel this one. And then obviously I, I, the, the other ones I use con, uh, continuously after that. But like, you yeah. know, it's kind of just been, how can I implement other people's art hacks? That aren't really hacks is just, hey, I do this this one thing slightly weird. That, that's not how most other people do it. It might feel good for you too. <laughs> right. But yeah, so I tried this. And for whatever reason, shading makes more sense. <laughs> I can't nice. tell you why. <laughs> like you know the, the difference is I can do soft shading uh, the, the traditional way and it makes sense like you know the shading is somehow one of the one of the parts where I feel like I'm actually kind of okay like I can do shading good more or less yeah but the difference is that whenever, whenever I do soft shading or do it you know the, the western way traditionally it uh, doesn't come out, come out looking a way that I want Whereas with, with, with the Japanese method, for whatever reason, it actually, like, while I was making it, I was like, hey, this actually looks like the comics that I like. Like, it, it, it has that sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of, uh, sort of shading, shading that, the, that the ink has in comics. Why? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it just does. <laughs> like, the, it's this weird thing where, like, technically... The my, like my perception of how how the anatomy works and how the the light would reflect of it doesn't really change, yet because of this slightly different different form of application, I feel like I understand the, the that method more than I do the the Western method, even though I I know why it reflects that way, I can make it look like it reflects that way in both of them. So <laughs> you know it's it's this very psychological thing that I just don't understand. Either which, either which way. So yeah, I applied that in this, and then I and also like because because of the time constraints of hey, you have like maybe ten hours to finish this. <laughs> right, right. Because of that, I literally didn't do uh, line work. It's just the sketch. I just painted the sketch, <laughs> and then <laughs> called it a day. And this is this is the the uh the thing that came out of it. And if you, uh, it's in the, the Watchtower. Okay. And I feel like if you, if you compare the two, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better. <laughs> I 
You can also see some of the changes when I went, hey, I don't have time to fix this. <laughs> Like, I don't have time to, to figure out how, how this effect works. Because, because my license is already got in like two hours, and it, it could probably take more, and I want this done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it finally loaded. Ah, uh, yeah! But yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. To me, to me, the the uh, the newer one just feels higher quality. But that's probably because it has uh, thinner lines. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see what you're saying there. It, it it does give off that vibe of being higher quality because the other one, the all the blacks and shadings tend to run together, but the the new one is much brighter and more vibrant. And I yeah, I think I I concur that it looks better. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, I should, I should probably I will probably continue using the four four shadows method because apparently it just works for me. <laughs> yeah. As you as you can see. I will I will also pro probably maybe consider not not actually making line work and <laughs> just painting sketch going forward. Cause fuck it. Ha. <laughs> like it. And there is another psychological thing that I I don't understand. I have like thirty different brushes of var various qualities. I have this pencil brush, which is what I use for sketching. That's the one that I used for for the, the the new one. I like that one. I can draw with thin lines with that one, pretty much with no no no, no like none of the other ones. <laughs> Comparatively, there's this one that I use for line uh, line work, uh, which I used for for the other one, the the previous one. That one is also called a pencil. Logic. <laughs> yeah. But you know. But it, it's also a lot, lot chunkier of a pencil. It's a lot, lot more pronounced and shit. And, you know, it's like, it, it's good for, like, there's a certain art style that it's good for. And I feel like it's, uh, like, you know, I, I feel good about it whenever I'm drawing stuff, but it's also not the art style that I want to have. Because <laughs> it's a lot more cutesy yeah. than what I usually go for. So, like, yeah. you know, it, I, I, I kind of felt stuck, stuck in this thing of, like, well, I can do the sketch, and, and, and I can do the sketch in, in something similar to the art style that I want. Or I can do the line work, and, it, and the line work will not come out, come out that same way because, because the brush that I actually like use, using to make the line work doesn't just, just doesn't have that look. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe going forward, I'll just, I'll just paint sketches and just call it a day. <laughs> the inkers will, will figure it out. <laughs> I also uh, watched a video with, with some good art tips. But I feel I feel like the that 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 one is all, all that one also requires some previous like academic knowledge of art because it's like, you know, if you have like distinct art styles or well, you know, not not even like similar, but just overall distinct art styles that you like, just you know, collect a shit ton of them and then examine what, what ties them together and what you can add to your own art, which like makes sense. Like you know when, yeah. when you break it down like that, sure. I can think of like. So, like you know, it's one of those things where like I can technically point out like four things that have that have stuff similar, but it, but I can't be be like because like the, when when they did the did the did the, did the explanation of how this works, it's like you know, is the is the uh, color grading similar or whatever? And like technically, I have an idea about that, but I don't know what the fuck you mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I know what warm tones and and cold tones are. I can I know about hues. I know about. And allegedly, I technically know something about color theory just by actually being able to perceive color. But you know, <laughs> yeah. At the same time, I can't really like, you know, I, I can't really go. Well, hey, uh, I don't know. Soul Eater and, and JoJo both use warm hues. For one, no, they don't. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> the opposite. They they use cold tones. And the, no, uh, uh, what you call it? Soul Eater uses cold tones, and then the. Uh, and matte colors, it, this is how I would call them. Whereas Jojo explicitly does not have a color palette. Like the 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 guy who draws them, Araki, he, he issued a statement that there is no official color palette for any Jojo character. You can make that ah. shit up and it's it's official. <laughs> Very nice. 
But but he also he, he loves those open and fan interaction stuff the stuff that you can do because there's all I think the I think he also said that you can make whatever fan fiction that you want and as long as this one character from this one part dies in it it's canon because because that is just one of one of the cycles of him dying. <laughs> so you know. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, I, I spent spent some time time with that. I don't know how much I'll be draw, drawing going forward, be, uh, at least until I can actually buy the 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 uh, drawing software, which isn't expensive, but also requires a uh, debit card. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that will be the harder part, because I mean the the software is like fifty bucks, and honestly, it's actually genuinely really worth the fifty bucks. Like I would recommend it for fifty bucks. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it also it also depends on what you want because like the the there's there's a separate drawing version a separate animation version and the animation version has everything the drawing version has but also more uh more expanded animation suit 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 words wow anyway yeah and the difference is you know the drawing version is fifty bucks the animation version is is two hundred twenty and uh <laughs> yeah yeah. On the other hand, genuinely, most people that I I know who are like of you know like uh professional comic artists and and uh like people like some people who do animation not not all of them, but some people in, in animation do actually work work using this one. So it, it's like one of those things where like okay, it's, it's two hundred twenty bucks, but at the same time, it's also you know in parts on industry stand, standards. So like they're they're gonna yeah, be asking it, for money. It's a quality program, not not a cheap program or anything yeah it's not it's not like it, it can be a hobby like they they do offer stuff for hobbyists but it, but they do try to actually be a quality they, they are trying to make a quality program or program even if their pricing recently has been kind of stinky yeah i mean you know it's one of those things where like the pricing like i like i said for 50 bucks very good price for, for even just the drawing drawing stuff like i used it for two years and i even made an animation in it Using the drawing suite, so you know, it's <laughs> technically like it, it is a very capable program, but they also went, "Hey, what if every major update required you to buy the buy the license again?" <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, you can use this subscription service, which, like you know, uh... <laughs> so like I'll, I'll keep buying it for fifty fifty dollars. <laughs> Until it stops being worth the fifty dollars, but you know, for for now, it's worth the fifty dollars. I mean, the, yeah. like even I'm I'm, I'm really shilling this uh, this software that I'm not even talking like I'm not even dropping the name by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it's also one of those things where like you know, it, it sucks that they revo revoked the licenses of people who bought the first one. Uh, well, you know. They didn't revoke the licenses, but but whatever, it's complicated. They they tried. <laughs> yeah. But you know the the whole license stuff, stuff kind of stinks. At the same time, they are introducing stuff like, hey, if you have a webcam plugged in, then you can uh you can pose the three D model with the webcam, so you can do the pose IRL yourself, and then the the model in the in the drawing software will take the pose, so you can you can draw it easier, and stuff like that. Ah. And it, it it works for like facial stuff too. It's not just you know if you move your arm this way then then it, their, their arm will go that way too. If if your if the model has facial animations then then it will do something similar I think. <laughs> I don't know because all of the models I I ever tried tried using had, had actual faces so. I see. But yeah, like yeah. Good software, and I hope I can actually buy it sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, I did actually go ahead and make like uh, 15, I think, thumbnails for uh, all of the series that are currently going, ongoing and have pre-baked thumbnails. <laughs> 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 Just so there won't be a dipping quality. Very nice, very nice. Then, uh, let's see. 
uh I guess before I before I hit uh video games, this is something that's in plan. It might not actually happen, but if if the the plan uh doesn't fall apart, then in September I should be going to a fur con. Because they are they are they are holding one in in uh in in the capital city and yeah, I tried to to uh to uh talk my my mom down from going because it, it, the the tickets are actually pretty expensive. Hmm. <laughs> and it's a social event. <laughs> and right, you know me? right. <laughs> but no, she she's like we're going. Then that's final. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, they, they did say that there's gonna be like retro games and shit there, so if nothing else, maybe maybe I can be the the, furry, the Hungarian furry convention the fucking Street Fighter 2 champion, I guess, or something. <laughs> <laughs> depends on depends on how retro we're talking, because apparently people are people are saying that the V the Nintendo V is retro, and, and it, whenever whenever I hear hear people be like be like the V was my first console, I I shiver and die. <laughs> in my old age like it's, it's genuinely been a, been a thing where, where like I've heard people people in videos say it and I'm, I'm just like wow baby <laughs> <laughs> and the people like the, the funniest part is those people are genuinely like three years older than me if not more <laughs> But still. <laughs> like, I had a very fucked up trajectory, tra trajectory with, with, uh, with, uh, console games, or co consoles just in general, but, you know, like, the, I don't know, it, 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 it really feel, feels weird for people who are older than me, or just people in general, to be like, hey, I, I played this thing that was already 3D, meanwhile, I saw, saw it with, with the game that, that, uh, released in 1988. <laughs> <laughs> And like had simulated three D because three three D was nowhere near anything that we could do, and it was good, goddamn it. Uh. So yeah. Then for video games. I have restarted. Well, no, I didn't restart. I I have broken my promise. <laughs> I have started a uh, critical playthrough of Kingdom Hearts: Birth by Sleep. Oh no! The problems that I had with with the uh with, with the combat mechanic or the deck mechanic really persist very much so. I might have also quit my playthrough because there's a time to fight that I need to win, and the character that I have, which is Taro, cannot hit fast enough <laughs> to actually win. Oh which no! Which is a problem. Because like, a bit, I'd imagine. Like it's it's funny because like the bosses, the bosses are more difficult. You know, encounters are more difficult because this is the, the hardest difficulty. But because of because of of, of it being Kingdom Hearts. And it being the hardest difficulty in Kingdom Hearts, it's actually sort of balanced. Because, you know, if you remember, like I, like I said with 2, the enemy's t uh, deal more damage was thrown to you. Right. So, so it doesn't feel unfair that, that there's more difficulty, it just feels like you're playing the ga game normally, <laughs> which is how I prefer my difficulty. You know, dying in 2 hits is just a side effect. But, <laughs> but like there's uh in most not all of them but in most Kingdom Hearts games there's a part with, with uh, when you go to the Colosseum from Hercules and there's always well not always I I I'm factually wrong but <laughs> most of the time there there's a tournament in in the Colosseum and you know the tournament is supposed to be at least somewhat challenging. But in, in Birth by Sleep, every single round is on a timer. And it's like, hey, kill these five people uh, in like 20 seconds. And Ew. Yeah. And 
the the big problem is that you could feasibly do that if you actually build for it. I have not. In fact, my, my build is one where I stop the enemies and then I poison them because the damage that Terror deals is shit because his hits take too long to come out normally. <laughs> so, <laughs> so imagine my surprise as, as my stalling technique means that I can't fit in the Colosseum. <laughs> womp womp. And so now, my options are stop playing Burnt by Sleep. Or play more Mario Party, burn by sleep until I get the, get moves that can actually kill people. Nice, isn't it? And like you know, the the Mario Party, by the way, takes like an hour and a half <laughs> every round. Oh, and like you 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 are encouraged to play through it multiple times in, in succession, so that uh, so that so that you can level up and gain new moves fast. So like I have actually played, uh, I have I think eight eight or nine hours logged into my into my playthrough thus far. I want to say an hour of that is actual gameplay, and eight of eight of those hours is but is a uh, Mario Party. <laughs> so you know, uh, oh, <laughs> a man. good balance. Uh, I I have also. Uh, Introduced my niece to Kingdom Hearts. She's playing one. And immediately her, her first question was, are the two boy protagonists dating? Well, are they? No, but the writing doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make, makes it very not clear. <laughs> so. Or at least I don't think so. But, but you know, at the same, at the same time, one of them became the other one's spirit animal so that so that they can defend the other guy whenever they're in danger. So, you know, there's an argument to be made. Yeah. And yeah, that's been fun. I actually set her to the highest difficulty as well. Just to see, <laughs> just to see what Kingdom Hearts' highest difficulty would be. She doesn't know. That she's on the playing on the highest difficulty, by the way. It's been fine. Funny. It's Funny. Been, it's been fine. Like, here's the thing. Kingdom Hearts 1 does not have a critical difficulty. Critical difficulty is the one that's balanced so, so both the enemies and you hit harder. Because of this, I wasn't sure if Proud Mode, which is the uh, next difficulty down, wasn't sure if that, that in Kingdom Hearts 1 would have similar balancing or if it, if it would just be, okay, the enemies are now... Uh, damage sponges and you do nothing you die or, or if it would actually be you know well balanced yeah and so far it se seems like she's well balanced I mean she she is dying fairly fast but that's to be expected once again dying in two hits is, is a side effect <laughs> but, but at the same time she is also killing uh, the, the monsters at a rate that, that is acceptable like they are not taking longer than they should that you both of my other playthroughs, so you know. Yeah. And, and like, by by saying that, I don't even mean that they take longer than, than they do on normal. No, they take roughly the same amount of time to kill as they do on normal, maybe less. So, <laughs> you know. But Fair. Kingdom, right. Heart, Kingdom Hearts is somehow a series that actually has good balancing. How odd. So yeah, that then I've also been playing Assassin's Creed Rogue. Assassin's Creed Rogue, in case you don't know, is Assassin's Creed Four, but in you know in the Americas. That's okay. it. It 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 came out uh, literally the same day as Assassin's Creed Unity and ties into that that game's story. But that's it. A little bit. It ties into four, three, and Unity's stories. And I guess uh, okay. Then I guess, whatchamacallit, oh shit, Liberation. So yeah, I have so far done most of the Ubisofts, <laughs> as in, I have sailed all of the seven, seven seas, 
There are seven maps of seas that you can have on the road. That's that's not true. There's only two. But <laughs> but I have sailed the seven seas and visited every location that is not blocked off by ice. Nice. And I have done all of the viewpoints, and I have done whatever the fuck. I have li I have renovated ninety five percent of the world that we know, I guess, <laughs> according to the game. All I right. Am, I am making. I am making like twenty three thousand uh, pounds in in twenty minutes, every twenty minutes. This is also like, uh, what you call it? This is like I want to say. The 1700s? <laughs> so you know, 23,000 pounds in the 1700s, 1700s every 20 minutes. Yeah. I have nearly upgraded the, sh upgraded the ship to its uh, full power. And I am low-key avo avoiding story missions so that I can, I can go into the, into the later story missions with, with the ship at full power because it, it will be funny. <laughs> You know, it's I I uh I said this in the uh well I said this I wrote this into the Assassin's Creed Four review, but you know it, it's it's a game. It's you know what you expect out of Assassin's Creed. It's the it's the the like strong seven week eight overall rating of Assassin's Creed as a series that you expect, right? Which I think is fair. I think I think you'll agree. Probably. And I, I said this about four, but you know, it's, it's it, because, because I feel like that way about the entire series. When, when I think of think about them in a vacuum, it, it's true for any of them. <laughs> like, I, I, I would need. To, I was gonna say, oh, maybe maybe not Brotherhood, but I would need to play through Brotherhood again. And I, I literally am incapable of playing through Brotherhood. I own <laughs> I, I own four copies of Brotherhood and I am literally incapable of playing through it again. I just played it through too much. <laughs> but yeah. There's legitimately not much for me to say about Assassin's Creed Rogue because it's just it's there. It's Assassin's Creed Rogue. The writing is yep. the writing is not be not great, but you know I I prefer it to Assassin's Creed 4 because it's short. It also has quality of life improvements over over four. Yeah, like you don't even need to hunt in, hunt in this game. You can just wait for the money to to pile up, and then go go to a shop and just buy pelts so you can you can skip the the uh, unnecessary pet and upgrade stuff for your character. Instead of having having to be like, all right, I need to upgrade the rowboat so I can kill five humpback whales so that I can, I can make like one letter strip. So that I can hang on, hang on, on. Nice. Five humpback whales need need to die for this one letter strip that's about the the the, the length of my arm. <laughs> and not even the full arm, just just like you know the the uh, the the forearm. Right. Five humpback whales. <laughs> Uh, That's messed up. I wonder why why I hate just you know forced in crafting mechanics. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah. I did that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Cause I I played all of those fighting games that I talked about off recording, but like, as fighting games are. And like, even if not, I played them one match, what can I really say about th any of them? And like, you, you've never heard of any of these. Like, let, let me just, let me just sh like shout a random name at you. Let me see. All right, Pink, what are your thoughts on Blood Warrior? Nope, never heard, <laughs> never heard of it. Okay, what do you think about Rabbit? Well... 
like, are we talking a specific rabbit or just rabbits in general? The game rabbit. Never heard of it. Exactly. All right. How, how about Ninja Masters? Possessive. That sounds terrible. I don't know what it is, but it sounds terrible. <laughs> like it, it's just like that's not, that's not the name. It's Ninja Masters, but the Masters is possessive, not plural. Oh. <laughs> but I, but I know that you're a, you're a big fan of uh, best of best. Oh, you know it. And aggressors of dark combat. So yeah, these are the, these are the, the sorts of games that I've, I've been playing this week. <laughs> and yeah, you know, sounds only... terrible. <laughs> I think it, it took like three hours to have a match in all of those. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, did I do anything else? There's a good, ch good chance that I have not. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I did want to point out some of the uh, some of the notes that I had made for Assassin's Creed 4, because they didn't make sense even with context. Because <laughs> like one of one of the actually give me a sec, I'm, I'm gonna get the uh, the uh notepad I have. So yeah, the I have one of these uh one of these notes is just three hours, fifty two fifty two minutes, five seconds, crash bandicoot. It's a note alright. I I look looked for looked for the time code in the uh in, in the raw footage that, that this is pointing to. I have no clue what I meant. <laughs> it is a mystery to everyone. Awesome. I also have, have one that's two hour, two hours, forty nine minutes, oh seven seconds. Roger cracks this game. Cool. <laughs> oh no. And then where's the where's the one that I actually posted about in the uh I had, you know, it's really a shame that that I that more people like. To me, it's a shame that that I can't really uh, weave some of these notes into the into the videos more, because you can kind of kind of see because I, I just write down literally whatever's on my mind while playing the game, and you can kind of just see 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 me getting swayed one way or the other. Like I I have, like here's this uh here's this there's this like trio. Sometimes the ship combat uh, turns into a Dragon Force concert. <laughs> then, 9 minutes later, ship upgrades. Thir 13 minutes later, fuck his ship, sa ship tailing. I also just have one at uh, 56 minutes. It's just all uppercase stealth. Nice. And the, the really, really the one that I, I love the most that I can find is that there's an exact uh, timestamp something and it's just called, I just named it uh, Nightmare Hell Creature. And I think it, it was it was a guard the, whose eyes burned there <laughs> for some reason. It was yeah. a it was a horny guard with with, with with just eye sockets instead of eyes. Eye sockets but no eyes, what? <laughs> yeah. Like you know how you know how whenever you we want to draw something not not having having its eyes, you just draw the, the eye sockets and it's it's black. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, 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 that's how the guy looks. All right. Like, I, I can try to get, get, get a picture of him later if you want. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'll review after Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually gonna have to think about that because I, I want to do something that won't take me a month. At the same time, I am also pushing my reviews <laughs> to be monthly just in case. <laughs> I might be able to keep up with that. Uh, but yeah, like, you know, it's it's a thing of like, it, it's different going writing a review off of, off of memory and writing it off of the notes. Because with the notes, I can tell you exactly what I was thinking. Like fucking ship sailing. <laughs> I can only imagine what that note could entail. I also like this. Actually, I should read, read, read all of the, these three. Because they make no sense. Like, okay, listen to this without context. I have these three notes following each other. Roger Craigsby's came. LOL, movement removed. Crash Bandicoot. I don't think I could parse anything together with those small sentences. And like some some of these I actually like write into the reviews as jokes. <laughs> or whatever. I actually in, like I, I have noted down multiple glitches. And I will actually have to cut those because I didn't didn't uh, find a spot into in the uh review where I wanted to go, okay, but let's talk about the glitches, because, like, they weren't funny enough, <laughs> I guess. It's mostly, it's, enough. it's mostly just like, hey, the AI bug that I made, made it so I don't, I couldn't complete the mission, and I had to redo the entire 20 minutes detailing segment. Again. This happened four times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that's not, that's not really the, the funniest of glitches. Yeah, yeah. Although I did like the, I did, did like this one time when the tailing mission ended, and you're you're following this group of people, all of the all of the group group of people that you're following are the people who are who, are, who you're supposed to follow, whereas normally you you're only following like one guy. And then, they go into this fort, and what's supposed to happen is they go into the fort, and the the door closes. And. After that, you the, the camera pans a bit to show you where to go, and then you you know you go around and climb the fort, and you do the mission. Then, what happened in my game was, uh, I want to say it was like a group of eight people. Of the eight people, six people went into the fort. Two of them stayed out, and the doors closed, so they couldn't go in. <laughs> so no no panning shot because they, they they're not in the trigger. For, for for the panic shot to trigger. And they can't get to the trigger because the doors are closed. Awesome. I had to restart the mission manually. In fact I don't think oh. I don't even I don't even think uh four has a has an option for it, so I actually had to like force quit the game and then restart it. Oh man. So yeah, that was a treat. <laughs> Sounds like it. But yeah, I guess uh, with that, we can call it a podcast because I didn't really do anything else. All right, then. Okay, say something big, I guess. <laughs> something big, I guess.